Famous juggler and mathematician Ronald Graham once said, juggling is sometimes called the art of controlling patterns. Some people think juggling is impossible, or maybe even an act of magic, but it's not. Instead, it's a simple combination of physics and proper technique. Today, I will be showing you how to juggle. Now, I learned to juggle when I was just nine years old with a few apples and a lot of spare time. In order for you to juggle, you'll need to follow these three steps. Step one, prepare yourself. Step two, learn the proper juggling techniques. And step three, how to put it all together. Juggling is a spectacular art that you can use to amaze your friends and family. Now, we'll begin with step one, that is, prepare yourself to juggle. First, you'll need to understand the physics behind juggling. Juggling isn't just a mess of balls. Like Graham said, there's a pattern. Every ball moves in the same pattern, a figure eight. And at the top of the figure eight are two, para two parabolas, one for each throw. And at the top of each parabola is the vertex, the point at which the ball stops moving up and begins moving down. Now that you understand the physics, you can prepare yourself with the proper juggling equipment. You'll need three objects, spherical in size, equal in weight, and equal, equal in size. Now that you're prepared, you can begin. Now that you're prepared, you can learn the proper juggling form. Step two: learn the proper form. First, we'll talk about posture. You'll want your feet shoulder length apart, pointing straight ahead. Then you want your body straight, your chin up and then relax a little, because you don't want to be tense while juggling. Now we'll talk about the proper throw. You want your elbow to your side, your arm extended straight ahead with the ball in your palm facing up. And you'll begin the motion with a scoop to your belly button, where you'll release the ball to the other hand. Now with every throw, there's a catch. So for the catching form, you'll want your elbow to your side, your arm extended straight out, and your palm up, just like the throw. All together, it looks like this pretty simple. Now that you have the proper form, you can actually start juggling. Step three, how to put it all together. You'll start with just one ball, and you'll practice the throwing and catching. And once you have that down, you can start with two balls. You'll hold one in each hand, and throw first with your dominant hand. And once that ball hits its vertex, the point at which the ball stops moving up and begins moving down, you'll throw the opposite ball, like so. And once you get that down, you can start with three balls. Now, I know what you're thinking. I have three balls, but only two hands. So how am I gonna hold all three balls? So what you're gonna do is hold two balls in one hand. Starting, so you'll have one ball pressed against your palm with your pinky and ring finger, and the other ball in your fingertips. And you'll start the throw just like the one and two ball throw, except for um, when the second ball hits its vertex, you'll throw the third ball, like so. And as each ball hits its vertex, you throw the opposite ball. Now you know the basics of juggling, and with a little practice, you can juggle too. You can use the amazing art of juggling to impress your family and friends. Just remember these three steps. One, prepare yourself with the proper background knowledge and the proper equipment. Step two. Step two. How, oh wait, no. Step two, learn the correct form of juggling with proper posture and throwing technique. And step three, practice with one, two, then three balls, putting everything that you learned together. Juggling, like any other skill, will take time and dedication to master. So don't be discouraged if you don't get it right away. Like famous writer Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, every artist was once an amateur.